Time Nails Garage YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a how-to video on how to paint a topper. The topper, it's a used Lear topper and it's going on a 2014 Tuxedo Black Ford F-250. So since it is used, it does have a little bit of damage to it, so we are going to do a little bit of fiberglass repair to it and we're going to get it cleaned up. Then we're going to disassemble it to what we can. We'll pull some windows. I think the side windows come off of it and the back glass and then we'll get the topper prepped for paint. We'll mask it off and we'll paint it. So let's get started. I'll show you a little bit of what we're working with and uh, then we'll get to work. So as you can see in the front corner here, this is front driver's side corner. We do have a little bit of damage from scrapes there. Um, that's no big deal. We'll put a little bit of fiberglass filler in there and uh, feather it back down. A few chips up there. A little bit of damage on here on the side. Again, no big deal. This is a little bit bigger here. We're gonna have to get that back to good fiberglass. Um, before we could throw some filler in there, a little chip there, a little chip there, and also back here. Uh, this corner got busted off pretty good, so we are going to have to, I think what we're going to do is we're going to cut this off right here. We're going to cut it up about a, eh, maybe about half inch, quarter inch, maybe three eighths of an inch, how about in between? And uh, then we'll do this side to match over here. So, and then we got another little nick right there. But um, these back windows come out here, so we'll pull those out and we'll pull the back glass off here. Fairly simple to do and it'll save us a little bit of work. First thing I like to do before I even start working on anything is we're gonna wax and grease remove the entire topper and especially the areas we're gonna be working on first just so it keeps the contaminants out of the paint and out of any of the body filler you're using or in any of the primer or anything. So we wanna make sure we get all that stuff out of there before we go put anything on top of it. Go ahead, we're gonna get started on the fiberglass work, take them back, grind them back, put some filler in them, and while we're waiting on the filler to dry, and then we're gonna go ahead and remove the rear windows. So let's go ahead and get to it. So now that we got it cut back to good fiberglass, we're gonna go ahead and sand around the area with some 100 grit sandpaper just to give the uh, the extra filler, something to stick to. First, we're going to start off by fixing some of the more damaged areas with some fiberglass reinforced bondo. Once we get that sanded down, we're going to come back with a little bit of body filler. So now while we're waiting for the filler to cure, we're gonna go ahead and remove these back windows. So as you can see, there's two struts, one on each side of the glass. If you use a little flathead screwdriver, pop it in this clip right there, those will pop right out. And then also we got two nuts on the inside of the hinges right there, holding those on. So we're gonna go ahead and pop those out right now and remove the glass. So this is a little different rear window on a Lear topper than I'm used to. Uh, usually you just pull the strip off right here and you can open the windows a little bit further and you can get to some screws in there that hold the hinges on, but that's not the case in this topper. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave the window open as far as we can. We'll just have to mask off a little bit better around all this stuff. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sign down the fiberglass here and then we're gonna put body fill on it. We're going to sand down the fiberglass again with 100 grit sandpaper. So now we're gonna go ahead, 
mix up some body filler and add it to the areas that we just need a little bit more filler in. So um, body filler is a little more easier to work with, but it's not as strong as fiberglass filler. So it'll still bond the material just as well, but it's more for the finer details. So let's go ahead and mix up the body filler and throw it in the areas that need it. With your hardener, you want to go ahead and kind of knead it to make sure you mix it up all the way. Sometimes it'll sit in the store on the shelf for a while and uh, the contents inside will separate and then when you pour it out onto your, your filler, it won't, it won't harden the way it should. So just kind of knead a little bit, mix it up and then always do a line all the way across. All right, so now that we've applied our body filler and we're waiting for it to cure, we're gonna go ahead and start sanding the entire topper with 400 grit to prep it for paint. Now we're gonna use our 3M eraser wheel to remove the adhesive left from the weather stripping on the back window. Now that our filler's dry, we're gonna go ahead and sand it down with some 220 grit sandpaper. So I do apologize, but my camera battery died. Uh, I got everything finished sanded here. All of our areas that we had filler applied to. And I went ahead, masked off a little bit and threw some primer on everything to see where we're at. And uh, you can see right here came out pretty dang nice. There are still a few little chips. I don't know if you can see them on the camera right there. That's about all for tonight though. It's getting late out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and see you in the morning. So it is the next day here in the garage and we're gonna continue working on this Lear Topper. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna rough mask the windows to uh, prevent scratching while we're sanding everything. We're gonna get everything sanded down to 400 grit. We're gonna get all scuffed up in the, in the window areas around there so the paint sticks really well. And uh, then after we're done with that, we're gonna find any other imperfections. We're gonna touch everything up with a glazing putty, make sure there's no other imperfections and sandy marks, anything like that. And then we'll go ahead, mask everything off for final paint. We'll mix our paint up and we'll paint it. All right, let's go ahead and get to it.
Welcome back everyone. It is a new day and uh, we had a little issue with some moisture in the lines. My water separator wasn't doing a good enough job. This is uh, Tennessee and it was super humid outside so we had a lot of moisture in the line. So uh, caused a few issues. We got a little bit of water came out on the topper here so I went ahead, scuffed them up, sanded them down, got all the marks out of there. And now we're going to go ahead and finish the top coat of paint here. So we got a new water separator installed here in the garage and uh, hopefully this one's got really good reviews so hopefully it does a good job. Uh, people say they use it for painting all the time. But also I put some water on the floor to keep the dust out in here. Um, you're not going to get all the dust out, you sweep it, you blow it out, uh, you're never going to get all the dust out. So water always works, it keeps, holds the dust in and doesn't let it fly all over the place. So let's go ahead and fire up the spray gun and put our final coat down here. So here is the finished product. Everything came out absolutely beautiful. See the shine on that? Did have a piece of hair that was up here somewhere, but I wet sanded up with 1500 grit sandpaper and then buffed and polished it and then I ran polish over the entire topper. We did have another little issue with water in the third coat of clear on this side right here um, but I wet sanded it down with 1500 grit sandpaper and it came out pretty dang good. Wet sanded, buffed and polished and yeah pretty happy with everything. The way everything came out this uh, tuxedo black looks beautiful with all the metallic in it can't get over how it looks in the light. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and remove all this masking and uh, throw that back glass back on there. Also gonna wipe it down a little bit. Alright, so here's the final product. Everything is back together, rear windows put back on, everything all cleaned up, cleaned up all the glass, and I am super happy with it. Thanks for watching today's video, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.